These cities just above the U.S.-Mexico border don't receive any federal funding. The law-abiding, land-owning residents of towns such as Falfurias, Texas, are overrun by a tsunami of illegals as a result of what's called the funnel effect. The militarization of the border, which includes checkpoints, barriers, and security technology, diverts the human smuggling operations into treacherous, searing, and rugged terrain that delivers many illegal aliens to their deaths. And ranch owners and Texas border volunteer founders Mike and Linda Vickers contending with the outcome. What they are about to tell you may cause alarm because America isn't simply being invaded by countries south of its border. It is increasingly being invaded by countries from all over the world. Can you speak about your organization, explain where some of your volunteers come from and who they are? They, actually, we even have a, a lot of out-of-staters, uh, Nebraska, Massachusetts, uh, North Carolina, Oklahoma, many from Florida. Uh, Part of our mission is to enforce or help assist Border Patrol and other law enforcement entities out here. We uh, will post out on these heavily trafficked areas and uh, report uh, specific numbers to Border Patrol, specific locations, uh, and they have learned that uh, uh, we're a big help. We're like extra eyes and ears out here. Um, we also, a big part of our mission is awareness, and uh, we do many speaking engagements to uh, let people know exactly what's going on out here and what we're seeing, uh, despite what others say in high political offices that the border is safe, uh, these border towns are safe, it is not. Our ranch gate is 69 miles north of the bridge in Hidalgo that goes into uh, Reynosa, Mexico. A little over a day's walk. Well, actually, most of these people don't walk 69 miles. They all pay a criminal organization, mainly the cartels, uh, big money to be brought up here and let out uh, south of this Border Patrol checkpoint, four and a half miles south of our ranch on U.S. Highway 281. So. They're all contributing to organized crime by paying large sums of money to be brought in here. And to give you an example, uh, the Chinese are paying 50,000, the Indians are paying 10 to 20,000, all the Central Americans, the average is about 7,000. So, and the Mexicans, uh, uh, especially Southern Mexico, are paying 3,000. So it's a huge, huge uh, money event for the cartels, uh, probably even more lucrative than the drug business. What percentage are you seeing uh, from places other than South and Central America? The Border Patrol and Homeland Security categorize the people that are not from Mexico as other than Mexicans. And uh, prior to last night, uh, they were it was running about 73% of the people apprehended in the Rio Grande Valley or OTMs other than Mexican. Um, a lot of Central Americans, but really from all over the, the world. And uh, we were informed last night that that number has escalated to 80 percent. So, uh, and this is this is a fact. So most of the people that we encounter here, a larger percentage of them are people from other other countries other than Mexico. And we're not told about the special interest aliens. Uh, we have had Somalians here once they got on that special. Uh, uh, alien list, uh, they won't tell us that anymore, but there have been some Somalians, India, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Chinese, uh, you name it, we've had it here. <laughs> we've also uh, uh, found evidence that people from these uh, special interest countries, in particular Pakistan and Afghanistan, Iran, um, uh, are coming through our property. Uh, during one of our Texas border volunteer operations last year, uh, we had a group of 10 uh, we spotted, uh, we followed them, uh, informed the Border Patrol where they were going to come out on the highway. Border Patrol were not able to respond fast enough. They got, they climbed the fence and uh, uh, loaded up and, and left and uh, were, were not caught. But as one of them was uh, climbing over the fence, he dropped uh, a package. And that package uh, was an Urdu dictionary. Urdu is a language uh, spoken in uh, Pakistan and Afghanistan. And in that uh, uh, translation book, Urdu and English, there were a lot of phrases circled and outlined. Do you speak Spanish? Do you speak English? 
you must pay in dollars. So we know that uh, special interest countries, in particular countries like Pakistan or Afghanistan that are not particularly friendly with our country, are slipping through here under the disguise of, and under the, uh, all this other uh, activity that's going on where these families are given up and, and the Border Patrol uh, resources are being compromised. So it's, it's easier for them to slip through this private property. And uh, that's just one example. And uh, more recently, uh, uh, within the past two weeks, some Iranian money was found in a bailout vehicle. So we know they're coming in here. Besides that Iranian money being found in a bailout vehicle up here, uh, four Syrians, which is not, you know, public news yet, but four Syrians were apprehended on the Rio Grande River uh, a couple days ago. We're never divulged the special interest aliens. Uh, but I think it's time America gets alarmed. Uh, they are, they've already come through here. It's us as the humanitarian crisis, yeah. and it's an OTM crisis. It, it just take out the factor of the women and children. It's an other than Mexican crisis right now. We're you know, being invaded by third world country people, and in those third world country people are the special interest aliens. And it, 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 our boor, borders are porous. They, they feel like they're wide open right now, and that, that's a dangerous scenario. But I did discover, and I think this is laid out very clearly in the blog, uh, that uh, among the, the human trafficking going on in Belize uh, is a large number of Lebanese males coming into the country with passports uh, from Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Afghanistan, uh, and are given brand new identities, brand new names, and using handlers handled off ultimately into America with a very dangerous package. Now that surprised me, that shocked me. Please join us tomorrow as we delve into the range of diseases making their way up from the Mexican-U.S. border. For InfoWars Nightly News, I'm John Bowne. I'm Darren McBreen, and these are some of the new items that are available now at InfoWarsShop.com. Alert the public to Obama's blatant abuse of power with the new Obama t-shirt. Obama's joker face on the front and come and take it on the back. It's time to publicly call him out for what he is, a tyrant. Defend the Second Amendment with our top seller come and take it t-shirts. And look at that, women's cut tank tops and t-shirts now available. Nice hat. Plus, the don't tread on me flag and now you can become a micro distributor of the InfoWars magazine plus get your own copy delivered right to your door each and every month and if you're tired like I am of you and your family being exposed to polluted drinking water get the Pro One high performance water filter it gets rid of all pathogenic bacteria cyst fluoride heavy metals and numerous other contaminants so join the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com.